Hi everyone, this is Grace from Yasser Chemicals and welcome back to our channel. So it's been a while since we have uploaded our last YouTube video. As we get back on track on providing new informative videos regarding product formulations and chemicals that we can offer to you, we would like to introduce another home care product which is common in our households and that is toilet cleaners. So toilet cleaners are a must-have to keep our bathrooms clean and hygienic. So if you want to know more about how to make this high-efficiency toilet cleanser, its chemicals, process steps, and tips and tricks, just stay tuned and watch the next part of this video. At Yeser Chemicals, we produce high-quality coconut-based green surfactants like CAPD, CAO, CDEA, CMEA, and so on. Through strategic partnerships with other leading manufacturers, we supply a comprehensive range of chemicals for home care and personal care products. We offer a one-stop solution, ensuring you have everything you need from one source to produce top tier home and personal care products. Okay, let's start with the types of dirt a good toilet cleaner needs to tackle. There are two main types, which is the mineral-based stains like lime scale and rust. So these are caused by hard water and leave behind tough deposits. Next is the organic residues like biological waste, mold, and soap scum. The stuff that makes your toilet look and smell bad. So a great toilet cleaner dissolves these stains, leaves away residues, and leaves your toilet fresh and clean. But to do that effectively, it needs to stay in contact with the surface. And that's where our thickeners come in. So we have the simple formula for making our toilet cleaner, which is the ionized water. This is the base solvent that dissolves all ingredients that we have. Next is our hydrochloric acid, which is 35%. This is the powerhouse acid that dissolves tough mineral stains like lime scale and rust. So this is our active ingredient in the formula. So for our surfactant, we have AEO9. So this is a non-ionic surfactant with a powerful degreasing performance that will help lift organic grime and improve cleaning performance. We will have four different thickeners to compare their performance and efficiency in our acidic-based formulation. The first one is Aslan 012 or also known as Etoxylated Oleyl Amine or Oleyl Amine Etoxylate 2EO. So this is a specifically optimized POE2 Oleyl Amine. This is a perfect thickening agent for many inorganic or organic acidic formulations, especially for strong acidic systems. It can significantly improve the product's wall hanging performance, which makes it a great choice for a thickener for hard surface cleansers. One of its typical applications is a hydrochloric-based toilet bowl cleanser, just like what we will be formulating for today. So Aslan 012 can help build a thick and stable body with a very low pH range which is 1 to 3. So the features and benefits of Aslan 012 is this is a perfect thickening agent for acidic systems, especially for strong acid formulations, and stable thickening performance in a wide range of temperatures. The formation of jelly gel can be avoided at the right dosage with good wall hanging properties. Aslan 012 is liquid at room temperature, so this can be easy for adding and processing. It has the effect of cleaning, foaming, and corrosion inhibition, which is perfect for toilet with metal surfaces. The recommended dosage for Yeser Aslan 012 in detergents is 1 to 5%. And for the other thickeners, we will be using the common thickeners that are used for home care and personal products, which are Xanthan gum, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose or HPMC, and our sodium chloride or salt. Next ingredient that we will have is our dye to add color for our product. Next for our fragrance, we're gonna add this one. Now let's see how Xanthan gum, HPMC, salt, and Aslan 012 perform as thickeners in this formula. First, let's add our deionized water. Weigh 522.4 grams of deionized water in our formula. So we will make a 800 grams batch for this formula and we will divide it into four for our four different thickeners. 
Next, let's add our EDTA disodium, our chelating agent. Let's weigh about 0.8 grams of this or 0.1% for the formula. After our chelating agent, we will add our hydrochloric acid or HCl. Carefully weigh about 240 grams of our HCl in our formula. Mix this carefully until fully incorporated. Then we will add our surfactant which is AEO9. Let's weigh 8 grams of this or 1% for our formula. Now let's stir this in our overhead mixer until it is fully dissolved. Now that we have fully dissolved our AEO9, we will now divide this one batch into four and then add our thickeners. First, let's add our Astan 012. Let's weigh 6 grams of this or 3% for the formula. So for our next thickener, we will add salt. Let's add about 1 to 2% of this. Next is our xanthan gum. Let's add 0.3% in our formulation. We need to fully disperse the xanthan gum with small amount of water before adding it to our acidic solution. While we are stirring our xanthan gum in the solution, we're gonna hydrate this HPMC, our next thickener, for our last batch. Weigh 0.6 grams of our HPMC and add it into a small liquid with small amount of water. Now that all our thickeners are fully dissolved in the formula, we'll now add all of our additives, such as the dye and fragrance. Now let's add 0.8 grams of our fragrance. That would be 0.4% for our formula. Carefully mix. Now 
Now that we have finished formulating our products, we will now check the viscosity of our toilet cleaners with different thickeners. So first one is HPMC. For HPMC, as you can see, it has a watery texture, which is not desirable for our formulation. This is because the HPMC has become unstable due to the highly acidic system of the formula. Next for Xanthan gum. As for Xanthan gum, there is a phase separation that happened in our formula. There is a jelly-like solution on the upper part. So Xanthan gum is great for mild systems but it's not ideal for strong acids formulation. Next for our salt or NaCl thickener. As you can see, salt has a watery viscosity in our formula. This is because of the high concentration of hydrogen ions which competes with the sodium ions from the salt and the micelle interactions. This disrupts the ionic balance which is crucial for micelle thickening thus preventing salt from effectively increasing the viscosity. Based on the results that we have, these three common thickeners are not effective in increasing the viscosity of our strongly acidic formula. And now for the last thickener that we have, using Aslan 012. As you can see, Aslan 012 has a stable smooth texture as we pour it down the container. So this is a desirable uh, attribute for our thickening agent in toilet cleaner formulations. Also, Aslan 012 doesn't form that jelly-like gel uh, consistency or phase separation compared to other thickeners that we have. Now we're gonna compare the viscosity of our Aslan 012 with the leading brand toilet cleaner that we have. In conclusion, Aslan 012 is the ultimate thickener for acidic toilet cleaner formulations. It's stable at low pH, provides excellent wall hanging properties, and delivers a smooth, consistent texture. This outperforms Xanthan gum, HPMC, and salt. If you'd like to know more about Aslan 012 or how we can help with your formulations, just contact Kesser Chemicals today. Visit our website or drop us a message and we're here to support you. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Stay tuned for more insights into our formulation choices and their benefits only here at Kesser Chemicals.